Hey guys, today we are looking at a simple Minecraft raid farm. This design is perfect for a Minecraft raid farm for 1.19. In this Minecraft raid farm for bedrock, you manually activate it by killing the captain. And you get the loot you need by manually killing the raiders. I tried my best to make this Minecraft raid farm tutorial easy to follow so that you can build the simple and easy Minecraft raid farm in your world. Enough chit chat, let's get going. But one more thing before we get going, guys I was messing with the volume on my recordings and didn't realize it was a little loud for this one, so the raid trumpet is super loud. So sorry. Okay, let's get going. Step 1, locate a pillager outpost. Next, make sure you are 100 blocks away from the closest village. Okay, first of all, amazing village, holy cow. Next, kill all of your pillagers. Next, we are going to break off the roof. Now that the roof is gone and you have plenty of dark oak planks, take glass panes and put them between two posts and then fill up the middle with glass panes as well. If you've ever done a raid farm before, you know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, now we gotta back up like 40 something blocks. Okay, we did about 30 blocks and had to wait a minute and then our pillager appears. Could be that more than one appears, it really doesn't matter. Then we are going to break all of these glass panes except for the one that our pillager is in. Gosh, I can't get over this seed, this thing's awesome. Just in case you want it. Now we need to find the southeast block. So we could either wait for the sun to rise or place down a sunflower, they always face east. Okay, so if that's east, uh, southeast will be this block right here. So I'm going to break all the blocks except that block. And then I would switch out that block with a block that you can remember. Oops, probably should have killed him first. Okay, and above that block, we are going to place a temporary block and then a glass block and break the temporary block. Now we can build up walls all the way around. I like to build them up three blocks high. Except right here, we're going to go one, two, three, then kind of come over this way like this. And then this gets a little tricky. What we need to do is come down here, build like this. And we are going to build a trough that leads this way. It needs to come one, two, three, four. Let's do five blocks just to be safe. Then over here, we need some blocks coming up to make a trough as well. And we want to make sure that this one is at least two blocks deep. Now you can place a bucket of water here and a bucket of water here. That's gonna make all of our water flow this way. And we can continue building our wall of three blocks high. We're doing that all the way around our trough and all the way around our spawn point. Okay, so I have something that looks a little bit like this. And again, you have your spawn point and then one block underneath. You have a trough with water flowing this way and on this side as well. You make this one two blocks deep because otherwise that makes this infinite water which ruins the flow. All right, let's tear down our pillars. Okay, and now from here, we're gonna come up 30 blocks. Let's do that right here as well. Right here. And then down here, we can place a block here and then come up 30 blocks as well, like that. Place water here, swim down to the bottom. Oh, hello. Right outside of here, we need to place a button, button and button, and then take kelp and plant it all the way up this tube. That turns all of those blocks into water source blocks. We can come back down, break the kelp, break this block and replace it with soul sand. Now we have a soul sand elevator, and it is going to push all of our guys up here to the top. We want to go ahead and place something like that. That's going to keep them from popping out. And we can place an upper slab here, like that. Now that we're up here, oh look, they're already coming up, see? Now that we're up here, we are going to place down leaves right here and start building a platform. I'm going to make it a five by five for me. That's the size I like. So this is gonna be the platform where I'm working from. 
And over here, I'm going to build out one, two, three leaf blocks. Start bringing those this way. There we go, just like that, evening out my platform. I need to lay down a bed, and you can't lay down a bed on leaves, so I need to break those. Lay down two blocks, then lay down a bed, and then break these again, and replace those with leaves. Then I'm going to build up here, like that. I'm going to cover the bed with leaves, skip a space here, and build up like this. Three blocks tall, and I'm going to put leaf blocks all the way around, covering that space including here, there we go. Okay, just like that. So I have a bed covered with leaves and then an empty space. Now I am going to need to bring a villager over here. I could probably do that using this tube. Villager kidnapping is kind of a video in its own right, so I'm just going to spawn one in. Uh-oh, and my raid already started. I wonder where they're going to spawn. They could spawn here. That's not good. There we go. So yeah, you want to cover these with leaves so that you don't get raid spawns up here. Oh, see, they spawned over here. They find any block possible. So you want to make sure all of your blocks are covered so that your raids don't spawn over here. Okay, we are going to lay down a double chest. Okay, and we are going to place a hopper going into that chest like that. Now let's do magma cubes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And fill in this platform just like this. Okay, now around the side of this platform, we are going to build some blocks. We're just going to make like a kind of a large tube here. Then we need to build up one, two, three, four blocks. Now let's do five to be safe. We're going to do that all the way around the edge. Okay, we want to make sure and cover that guy in. Then over here, we can actually place, as long as we skip a block, we can place down a couple blocks there and build this part of the wall up as well. And cover this top ledge with leaves. In this back corner over here, let's place a water bucket. That should make everything flow to where that hopper is. We can close that trap door and then place another trap door. And then that Sound is getting so annoying. Let's go kill those guys so that we can continue our raid up here. Actually, we're gonna have to break this and replace this with leaves. Now all these guys spawn over here. Let's kind of build up a ledge here because I'm getting ready to go into survival and I don't want to accidentally fall. Now the reason we have magma cubes is because sometimes the witches will drop the fire potions, which is nice. Notice these guys aren't able to shoot me, which is good. All the guys are taking damage from the magma cubes, which makes it faster to kill them. And I got a raid victory. Okay, what I like about this as opposed to the automatic farms is I get to decide easily how many times I want to do this. If I ever want to start up a raid again, I come over here. There we go. Okay, my raid is starting and we start at it again. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple and easy Minecraft raid farm for 1.19. And as always, thanks for watching.